Today we are talking about parental covenant. Parental covenant. That anything a man, a father or a mother is doing have spiritual and physical impact in the life of their children and the, in the life of their generations. That is the parental covenant. Parental covenant. Help me to touch the subscribe button or click the follow button. Depend the platform you are watching me right now so that you will receive all my updates. God bless you. I want to tell everyone under the sound of my voice today that a life of a man is the life of a generation. When we look at the life of Esau and Jacob, even while they were in the womb, the Bible makes us to understand their mother went to inquire of the law. And the Bible said, you are carrying in your womb two nations. Two nations, not two people, but two nations. That is to say that a man is a generation because every man will produce a generation. And that's why the Bible said that the, the woman was carrying in her womb two nations. And we, should, we all must understand that the life of a man right now will affect his children, affect his generation after him. So a man that say, I don't care to know, a woman that say, it doesn't matter. When you see a father or a mother, they are doing anything they like to do, do anyhow. It's just people that are ignorant, that don't know they are heaping up inheritance for their children. So today we are going to talk about parental covenant. Can a covenant a mother enter affect his children? Yes. Can a covenant a father enter affect his children? Yes. So, because in the book of Matthew chapter 27, the Bible said, when people want what they to crucify Jesus, they say, let his blood be upon us and upon our children, children. So, that was the, the kind of covenant they enter. Let the blood of Christ be upon us and upon our children children and today there are many things we are doing that means let it be upon us and let it also affect our children children do you understand there was a, a story of a woman this woman entered into covenant with one deity this woman was looking for fruit of womb for years and have no child she decided to go and meet one deity and enter into covenant with that deity. And after she did not fulfill the, the, the covenant, she entered with that deity. And the deity became very, very angry and began to revenge children. Amen. So, any covenant a mother enter or a father enter will have spiritual and physical uh, uh, manifestation or result or life of his children. When you look at the life of Abraham, Abraham was a man that had a covenant with God. And up to today, the children of Israel are still benefiting from the covenant that their forefathers entered with the Lord. And you discover that the Lord said, for the sake of your father, Abraham will I forgive you. Now, the, the, the covenant that God had with Abraham is still affecting his generation up to now, even after the death of Abraham. Look at the life of David. There was a lot of time, many times in the Bible, God was angry with the children of Israel and the Lord said, for the sake of your father, my servant David, will I forgive you. Now the covenant of God entered with David is still affecting his generation. And look at another man in the Bible called Ahab. Now the Lord also vowed also in the life of Ahab, contrary that is the negative side of covenant. And the Ahab killed Naboth. The Lord said, The Ahab shall have no male child in his generation. You see that what Ahab did has affected his children, children that, are, that we are innocent, that don't know anything, that don't know anything their forefathers did. Today, many of us are suffering just because of our forefathers did. Sometimes you go for prayer, they will say it's a family foundation. Sometimes they will say it's a cause, it's an ancestral cause. The meaning of ancestral cause is just the, the today harvest of the character or the lifestyle of our four, four parents. That is the meaning of the uh, cause we are talking about. Because cause is a result and the, that result is the day of harvest. 
So their children and their children's children are now reaping from the investment, from the negative investment of their four forefathers. That is cause. Instead of them reaping the blessing, they are now reaping the negative side of it. Because today is the day of harvest. And each and every one of us here, we remember about an other man in the Bible called Achan. Achan decided to steal something the Lord commanded no, that no one should touch. As Achan stole it. And when the judgment of the Lord came, and the Lord commanded that everything that Achan had, both his wife, his children, his gold, his everything, all of them were buried. The Lord destroyed all of them. His children died. His wife died. Every one of them died. In order for the mistakes of Achan to be erased. And that is to tell us that everything we are doing have impact in the life of our children, either negative or positive. The other day, I was, I was discussing with one man, and the man was telling me and said, Pastor, I don't care to know how old will be the situation of my children. Just let me just live fine. And after when I die, I don't know anything. I see a man that don't have love for his generation. I see a man that don't have love for his generation. Because every man is doing something in such a way that his children's children and his generation will benefit from his life. And I want you to know today that you are a seed. Your life on earth is a seed. Your life on earth is like a seed. You are a seed that God planted in the world. And the, the, what you are doing now we, is going ahead of you. Everything you are doing now is going ahead of you, waiting for your children, waiting for your children's children, waiting for your generation, even after your death. Everything you are doing now is going ahead of you. Our life is not present. Our life is future. We are not living for present. We are living for future. That is to say that everything you are doing now is going ahead of your generation. And I said there is no uh, uh, wealthy man or prosperous man why he or she is still alive. We know a successful man after his death. Because after his death, we will look at the life of his children, whether they will succeed in life. We know a successful man not when he is still alive. We know a successful man after his death. Maybe after his death, like 10 years, like 20 years, like 40 years, 50 years. We look at his generation. We look at the life of his generation. We will know whether they are successful. In the of your states, you discover that your children are nobody. Nobody knows them. President of your nations, you discover you don't know the name of their children. None of them. You don't know the name of their children. These ones are not successful. They are, just, they are just people that accumulate, accumulate uh, material things. They just uh, 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 stole public funds. And at the end, you look at their generation. They are nobody. Their generation, there is nothing like blessings of God in their life. There is nothing like glory of God in their life. Because they did not understand that what they are doing now, they are doing it for their children. Even though you are a single brother, or you are a single sister, or you are a child, watching this message right now, Remember that anything you are doing right now, even when you are not yet married, even when you are still young, young, even when you are still single, understand that everything you are doing now is going ahead of you, waiting for you. It's going ahead of you. Yes. Because the, what we are living, seeing today, everything you see today in your life was the seed you sow yesterday. You did not understand. Out of ignorance, you sow many seeds. You don't like the harvest. I see a lot of people there are in the church praying. Uh, 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 counseling the seed they planted ye many years ago they don't want the harvest anymore a man who said to me pastor i don't want my children to be like me i don't want any of my child to be like me i was surprised i said how come you don't want your children to be like you to resemble you because they will be like you definitely they will be like you they will not be like me i said how he began to tell me how he lived his life when he was young and he don't want any of his child to be like him I pray that the Lord will answer the prayer of that man. But definitely I know that his children, at least one, will be like him. Because every good parent, every mother, every father, pray that his children be like him and be better than him. But when you see someone that don't want his child to be like him, that don't want his child to imitate him, it means that that man is living a sinful life. And I am praying for you today. Before we begin to bind and begin to uh, engage in different family liberations this day, save your generation from the, uh, everyday family liberation. As we are seeing it in these present days, we are seeing everyday family liberation. 
because our four four parents did not understand that the life that we are living then had physical and spiritual implication in the life of their generation and you now you are in this world right now save your generation to come from everyday family liberation save them especially now we have many false prophets we have many false teachers that are ready to go to your father's house in order to liberate you and they will collect the little thing you have save your family save your generation to come so that it shall be well with them don't forget to introduce this channel to many people tell people about this channel and tony ministry tv tell people about it and also share this message so that many people will have access to it don't forget to drop your own opinion like it comment it and the lord will bless you may the peace of god and god of peace be with you see you next time and bye for now